Good morning, guys. Okay, my name is Muhammad Shahzad Arshad, and uh, we are here with another scanning video of Inesis uh, vulnerability scanner. Today, we are going to scan our ESXi server. Let's go and start scanning. So, first of all, I will go on my ESXi server and we are going to scan today 103 our ESXi server. So let's open our, uh, you know, um, one, our vulnerability scanner. I'll go HTTPS double backslash 192.168 and here is my vulnerability scanner. So we will log in already log in in this because it saves the credentials and always you have to use port 8834 with https so let's make a one uh, uh, here our uh, folder for new folder we will go um, esxi server okay create so one server is created so before we have to start and make a scanning for ESXi, I will I would like to tell you about uh, how to enable SSH because we have to enable SSH for scanning ESXi. So our NAS scanning scanner can go inside the ESXi server and scan it well. So let's go on our vCenter. You guys can open uh, with the IP direct to uh, this ESXi server and go into the action and then you can enable. For, uh, I have uh, already logged into my vCenter. So I would like to come here on vCenter, click on your ESXi server and then go for configuration. And in the configuration section, you have to look, come, back, come down with the systems uh, uh, section and then system section you have to come on security profile so here is the security profile it will give us uh, it's calculating everything here is the protocols incoming connections are running so we will go down in the services section here you can see here is our services section so if you see our SSH is stopped so I will go edit and I will ask start. So oh, no, select SSH and then say start. Okay, our SSH is running. And let's go and log into this uh, ESXi server if we can success. So we will give to our ESXi server. Okay, 103 and SSH. Oh, yep, it's open. And I will check the credential as well. Okay, good, great. I will go and uh, if we refresh this one, and it will ask, show us a new lit again. So you will see the ESXi server <coughs> Sorry. is running. Okay, let's see what is the warning. Sorry, it was a warning that ssh for the host has been enabled and uh, you want to suppress the warning yes and uh, okay so come back go again and check if it is sometime is uh, go back go back go back systems security and come down with the ssh and yes ssh ssh is still running okay i'll minimize and I'll come here, new scan, new scan, I will go advance and I'll give name here, ESXi server, NHT, okay, scanning ESXi server, okay, folder is this, target is 192.168.200.106, okay. So we will go credentials. Okay, it's SSH and the password is root. Okay. Any other privileges? Sudo or something? No, that's the only thing. Okay, so it is and then go for plugin. Let's see here which virtualization plugin from VMware we have. 
will go down, down, firewalls, then channels, come down. Okay. Okay. Here we have VMware 132 files. Okay. So it will check everything. It's related to VMware. Okay. So only VMware ESXi we have uh, this one so we will go and check again any virtualization no so i will go for save okay it's safe i will come in esxi servers and i will start run okay so it started scanning uh, i'll come back uh, when it's done and then we will explore the vulnerabilities okay guys our esxi server has been completed uh, we will just click and see the vulnerabilities okay not so big uh, we have uh, no criticals only five high and we have eight mediums two one is low and uh, 45 informatic let's go for high now okay in the nine we will go for high let's see okay patches mostly the patches okay apply the appropriate patches reference in the vendor you know advisory okay come back again multi vulnerability okay out of bound read okay patches so these are all our vulnerabilities which is a bit high so, so uh, high and we will go in other SSL self signed certificates okay and then medium we have Enable support for TLS one two and disable support for TLS. This is a SSH related. Remember, if we uh, already uh, scanned in our last video the Cisco switch, that was the session you are going to build with uh, uh, via HTTP. So it's related to that. Okay, both protocols is detected. SSH multiple issues. This one is low. Algorithm and language okay these are the algorithm and languages okay let's go more services detection okay these are the services see an ssh service is running on this so this one we have to stop because we are scanning that's why we open so we can stop later okay a web service server is running on this board yes a web server is running on this board yes okay okay version one answer on this okay we have authentication on this board and these are the services detected by the nessus let's go we have services here if we come into the services okay which one is running first console ui running ssh we just enable load balance steaming is running okay ntp daemon is he asking for that no authentication okay which more syslog server is running yeah okay so these are the services running and some more okay let's go and check little more what are the other things after the service http multiple issues okay ssh authentication check authentication succeeded so these are the all uh, things we have to address one by one so mostly uh, major is like our if you come back uh, the, these should be green 
so this one and this one should be green so what is green uh, we can see there if we found somewhere which one and where is green informatic hmm service detection okay SSL related TLS protocol issues here is one SSX server CBC mode safer is enabled it's okay by default is here uh, but the other things we have to address one by one host for SSL using keywords and authentication the output of username is slash this 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 so we have to be so most of the vulnerabilities will go back if you go uh, go out uh, if you have uh, familiar, if you have uh, familiarly, uh, if you are familiar with the, our ESXi server and in the security profile. So if you have configured this security profile properly and an accessory services, if you have stopped, so then you can uh, have, uh, you know, things like SSH, I can uh, put my, you know, in SSH, I can say my only my users can uh, here right now is all IP is allowed. So I can give my management uh, system IP. So I can give only that one and all these. I can put my, you know, um, uh, right in this, all my, my ranges, which is uh, in my network. So I can only connect from there and ESXi will not let anyone else to become here. So this is all security configuration you can do on ESXi. So after doing that and stopping unnecessary services, so you will get a good result in Nessus. So Nessus will give you a good uh, sign like uh, all is green. So here will be green and some informatic. So these are the things uh, related to ESXi, how we can uh, scan our ESXi. You saw and uh, hopefully you like this video. If you have like, kindly press like button, subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for upcoming videos. Take care.